Selena as feces. And I looked at him and said, what? Hi, baby, I'm Selena S. Titties, and you're watching That's Personal. My favorite toy as a child. Oh my God, I found this bicycle <laughs> in that alleyway. It was blue, but at the time it was the 90s, and you know, the Ice Cream Man, the Spice Girls just released Spice World, and they had these lollipops with the Spice Girl stickers on it. I would get three lollipops every single day, and I covered this bike in Spice Girl stickers. It was my pride and joy. My little blue Spice World Spice Girl bike um, that a bully stole one day at school, and I saw him riding on it. And he was this big muscle Samoan man riding my little Spice Girl bike, but I couldn't say anything because he would have killed me. Oh my God. <laughs> Just thinking a physical feature like, you know that area between the belly button and the pubis maximus where the hair is starting to trickle down into the bush? Like that area right there, I could just live on that slab of land for the rest of my life. It is just, mm, I love it. It's just so like delicious and it's so, it's like a nice little tease. You know what I mean? It's like an appetizer. Cause it's like, sometimes a lot of hair, but sometimes it's not. It, depending on the, on the person, it's like, it's leading down to the big prize. <laughs> I love it. It's delicious. Um, on a deserted island, I would want to be stuck with See, this is a tough question. Cause it's like, do you want comfort? Or do you want like survival? Or do you want, and like, yeah, like there's different aspects to this. I think I would want to be stuck on an island with, um, who can cook for me? That's, see, that's the real, I need someone who can cook. And it's not Gordon Ramsay, I'm not messing with him. Uh, I think I need to be stuck on a deserted island with Oprah. Oprah can make anything happen. Uh, my un <laughs> I'm trying not to be too nasty, but uh, my healthiest guilty pleasure. Oh my God, I do this thing, right? Where I will, <laughs> like out of nowhere, I can literally go to the gym, sweat my titties off, and then I will come home on my way home on the Uber, um, you know, cause I'm Ubering home from the gym. I'm not walking home. I will order a medium thin crust pizza from Domino's with the cheese dip with the bread knots. I will eat that whole thing in one sitting and that's just for lunch. So I think I need to stop indulging in that, to be honest. It's like, it's a pleasure I feel real guilty about afterwards. So does my toilet. Oh my God, let's not even go there. They put something in that butter sauce. I might be lactose actually. Um, so, you know, Selena Quintanilla got this question in an interview once and her answer was, I just want people to know me as having been kind. And in that regard, I like really would hope that I want people to remember me for just being a good time. You know what I mean? I just a good time girl. You know, I want to say that I am very kind. I am a sweetheart at heart, but sometimes I have little nasty moments. So like, I can't say, oh, you remember me for being kind. Cause then, you know, these Twitter will pull up the nasty moments. So I just want people to remember me for being a good time gal. You know, as titties, yeah, she's dead. She died, but she was a good time. One time I was in Seattle, right? And um, I was on, you know, this application on my phone. And this guy was real cute. And he was like, I'm a big fan of US titties. And I said, oh my God, thanks. And, you know, normally I wouldn't do anything with like a fan like that, but I made an exception this day. So he had come over to my hotel, right? And so then we were getting on and popping and like he was being very cordial, like not bringing up drag race or anything about drag. We was just nice, hot, sexy, we're good in it. And baby, you know, I don't really do the, um, 
the position where you take it. Like I don't, I don't play catcher most of the time. But in this instance, I was willing to do it. So you know, from I do anything for my fans. So like I was willing to play catcher, and we started playing baseball. And um, he, uh, some, did you hear my stomach? Well, that was right on time because he looks down, and he, I hear him go, oh, "Selena S. Feces." And I looked at him and said, what? What did you just say? I, he was insinuating that I had painted him and he said, Selena is feces. And I was like, in what world is that what you're saying to me while we're in the middle of this right now, so vulnerable and naked? And uh, I got up and it was not feces. It was Selena as bloodies. I told you, I don't catch very often. He tore it up, but it was not feces. I'm, you know, the, the girls love to say Selena is No girl is bloodies. Oh my God, I literally cried on my way to shoot this. <laughs> I was thinking about my mom. My mom passed away um, in February, so I cried thinking about that. But um, the last time I cried was when I had a bloody booty hole. I have many heroes, but one of my sheroes would have to be Miss Mary Catherine Gallagher from the feature film Superstar, starring Miss Molly Shannon. That bitch, Miss Mary Catherine Gallagher, is so crazy. Like, I relate to her so much. And she is, like, literally inspired, like, a lot of my humor growing up. Um, when that bitch put her hands in her armpit, and when she was praying for, like, a kiss to God, like, that's, bitch, that's me. You know what I mean? Miss Mary, ah, no slut! I live for Miss Mary Catherine Gallagher. That bitch is crazy. Oh, I'm afraid of roadkill. I hate roadkill. Roadkill is so disgusting to me. If ever you wanted to torture me and kill me, throw me in a giant vat of roadkill, I would die. I would die on my way in. I hate roadkill. Oh, it's so gross. I'd be, I'd be trapped. I'd be traveling to like other small towns and stuff and like they have a lot of roadkill on the roads when we go to the hotel. I have seen deer, I have seen dogs, I've seen cats, skunks, raccoons, ducks, you name it, it is so disgusting to see their little brains oozing out. I just hate it. But I'm never go vegan. I have never been in like romantical love. I've been in love like with my family. Um, I've been in love with food. I love sex, but never like with romance. I don't think I've ever fallen in love, love. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to the Out TV YouTube channel.